Philippines for our heritage, our tradition, our future. Today, we become the 2015 season of Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby kicks off this weekend with Saturday's derby between Paul Rist Gymnasium and the Afrikaans Wurzian School, live on Supersport. Twenty fifteen marks a very significant milestone in the history of one of South Africa's greatest schools, Paul Rist Gymnasium, as the school celebrates its one hundred and fiftieth anniversary. Hierdie jaar moet seker een van ons grootste jare wees in die afgelopen 150 jaar, want dit is ons 150 jare bestaansvieringe. Ek denk vir ons hele schoolgemeenskap is dit een besonderse tydperk en in alles wat ons aanpak vir jaar is het eindelijk elke keer een hoogtepunt. So hierdie jaar, ja, ons sien uit na die jaar en dit is vir ons een wonderlijke voorrecht om te kan deelwees van hierdie tydperk in die geschiedenis. Ja, so een mylpaal moment in die schoolse geschiedenis snoel mense wonderlijk saam. En dit is fantastisch om te sien hoe die huidige geslagpalroosers, die oude geslagpalroosers, vriende van die school, hoe allemaal nader staan en loyaal is en net betrokken wil wees en deel wil wees van hierdie unieke geleentheid. Ja, man of the trustees for the trust fund, the 150 trust fund of Paul Roos. Our aim is to raise 150 million rand for this trust fund. Not going to sport, all to actually ensure the academic sustainability of the school. Named after the legendary Springbok captain, Paul Roos, the school has a renowned rugby heritage. This is a, a quite a special blazer. It was the blazer used by Paul Roos on the 1906 tour to England. He captained the team. On that team, he became the first man to refer to the South African team as Springboks. And this is unique. Uh, it's quite special and probably one of the uh, most special items that we have in our archive. There have been several other noteworthy South Africans who have been educated at the famous Stellenbosch School. Paul Rus is is baie bevoorig om oor die 150 jaar a wonderlijke geschiedenis te kon bou en uh, oor al die jare mense op te lever wat een speciale bijdra tot ons land gelever het. Uh, maar daar is vooral enkele velde soos die politiek, waar drie eerste ministers, Smats, Malan en Herzog, al drie oud-leerlinge van ons school, op die journalistieke terrein, uh, in die skryversterrein soos Eis Kriege en Etienne van Heerden, uh, op die muziekterrein, maar vooral ook op die gebied van nuiverheid, die economie, Mense soos Johan Rupert en vele ander, so Paul Roos het een wonderlijke bijdrage gelever oor die 150 jaar. Being the 150th year, Paul Roos Gymnasium has a host of activities planned for the special occasion. So we're planning quite a number of highlights. Uh, we have this coming rugby day on the 28th of March. We have the launch of the, the 150 book in April. And then in June we have the Craven Week. It will only be the second time that a school will, ha will host the Craven Week. Uh, so we, we're blessed that we have that opportunity once again. We uh, hosted it in 2007 and now in 2015 uh, the Craven Week will be in Stellenbosch at Makoto once again. Paul Russ's opponents on their 150th Rugby Day will be the Afrikaans Wurzian School the famed Pretoria School, which is situated across the road from the hallowed turf of Loftus Fersveld. It is a great honor, and we have a great waardering for Paul Roos for the opportunity to play in such a famous school in such a merkwaardig year to play. So we see a lot of that now. It's always a hard game against Paul Roos. Uh, we try to play all the Cape schools, that's Paul Roos, Paul Boys and, and Paul Jim. Uh, try to play them every year, otherwise every second year, because uh, they're the best down there and we hope we're the best up here. And uh, if you can't play the best in the country, uh, you can't tell everyone you are the best. So that's why we play the Cape Schools and Grey Bloom as well. 
Ja, beslis, ons speel nou al so 15, 16 jaar, amper jaarliks tegen mekaar. En al die wedstrijden was uh, naalbuit affaires, baie goeie rugby, wat, wat wonderlijk is, ten spuite van die tellings wat baie naalbuit is. Afis en ons goes back a long way. Um, Afis traditional rugby school, we traditional rugby school, Noor versus South. Um, we're glad to have them in our 150th celebration day here. Um, last time we played in 2013 uh, down in Maritzburg at Wilderklaver, we came just short. So we're hoping to turn the tables this year. The first match between Paul Rus and Uffies was played in 1946, when Uffies won by six points to three. Since then, they have met a further 16 times at first team level, with Uffies winning eight and Paul Rus seven, along with the one drawn match in 2008. One of Uffies' favourite sons is legendary Blue Bulls and Springbok scrum half Farida Priya who represented the Uffies first team on 53 occasions. However, it was not easy going from the outset. Yeah, I think it's not easy to come with the law school crime. I think it's not easy to make the Aspen market. It's a poor Western Aspen spell, and to even skill like this, no Western and Great College is as I saw my right there, and the DS point to drop so hard lesson will ever be best, and I push myself my way to work and hard work. En um, ek denk dat is een goeie ding hier van die school is, en as jy hard werk, sal jy weer ook kom, so daarna kon ek daarom myself redelijk vestig in die aanspan, maar elk jaar was my harde werk geweest, en, en vooral in my start 9 jaar, baie baie harde werk geweest om, om na eerste span te speel. Die wit trui, en dit, dit is een groot traditie by, by Afis, uh, elke ookie wat rugby speel, sy start 6 en kom begin daai droom, eendag die uh, wit trui aan te trek, en... Uh, Ek, ek onthou, in my geval was het so, en dit is nou al amper 50 jaar geleden, en dit is nog steeds so, dit, dit raak net sterker en sterker. Ja, het was in 99 de eerste wedstrijd van die seizoen geweest. Ek het een harde afseizoen gehad en rarig hoop ek kon eerste span maak, en um, ek was bevoorrecht geweest om, om gekies te word op skramschakel. Het was die Rob Ferrari in, in Witrevier geweest. Um, ja, het was een ongelooflike stressvolle dag en week in my leven geweest, en amper die stelle stress wat ek ervaar het die dag voor ek die sprong op trui aangetrek het. Two of the most memorable matches between Paul Rus and Uffies came at the turn of the century in 1999 and 2000. We had great players. They were, they were really great players and Skalk Brits came to mind and uh, comes to mind and uh, Ernst Joubert, they still they still playing rugby for Saracens in London. We had a great year that year. Ja, vroeger in seizoen het ons by die St. John's Festival, die, die laatste dag van die St. John's Festival, het in Paul Roos gespeel. Um, ons het ongelukkig, was ons die hele wedstrijd redelijk in beheer geweest, maar hulle het, hulle het goed teruggevecht. I can still remember that in the dying minutes of the match, in the dying second of the match, uh, Wallace Albertine got the opportunity to kick for pauses, it was from within his own half. And we managed to convert the, the penalty and won. Um, I can talk from tot vandaag nog gaan thuis. Um, so yeah, it's been three points of failure, ongelooflijk te leer stellen geweest. Maar ik denk ons het ook heel baie geleer het daar wedstrijd en en nare het baie suksesvolle seizoen gehad. It was fitting in 99 for that team to to actually got one over Afis. Wallace Albertine's dramatic penalty goal set the stage for an epic rematch at the St. John's Festival the following year. The second game, we had actually sewn up and uh, um, the headmaster from Afis, he came to us and he actually congratulated us on the win. That was about eight minutes to go and we were clear and everything was sewn up. I will never forget, we were far after and we came back. En ons het, uh, daar is, daar is, a, daar is a oud sê ding in die school, Afrikaats. Afrikaats is iets wat in elke Afrikaats steek. Ik weet, daar is een hele paar klompe jaren terug, was daar een ouwe, so Marcel Raaf, wat in die laatste minuut in die beeldtrofee een wendrie gedruk het. Ik weet, Afrikaats is iets wat in elke Afrikaats steek, iets wat in elke Afrikaats steek, iets wat in zijn hart stop, iets wat in zijn aarde vloei. Ik weet, dat is iets wat jy, wat jy het van dat jy die dag in Afrikaats instap. En ik weet, as jy 14 punten achter is in die laatste 5 meter van die wedstrijd, sal Afrikaats jou deur trek. Dit het ge gewijs daai, da daai jaar, dit is op die St. John's Festival, Ons is ver achter geweest, ons is teruggekomen en uh, um, ek sal nooit vergeten, ons achtste man het, uh, het ons skep terug gehad en Frans was zwart, het uit die hoek uit de skop gehad om, om te wen. 
François Swart converted in a cast win. I mean, you could have measured it with a, with a ruler. We have had 31, 29 wins in the fight, and that was a great feeling. It was a great experience and, uh, yeah, disappointing, but uh, it was a great contest. And I will remember every second of those matches. The old, old school is a traditional school, and uh, that is a great job is always. Om teen tradi- traditionele school teen traditionele school en om my oorwinning teen so'n school te is 'n groot voorreg en ja ons is een elk gewees in my loopbaan en maar ja wat 'n eer gewees om teen hulle te speel en dit is great gewees. Paul Rus had an outstanding year on the rugby field in 2014, winning 15 out of 18 matches. The likes of Damien Willemse are part of the next crop of young men who will carry the school's name in the famous maroon and gold strip. It is the world for me, because so much I want to play for Paul what I also play for my province and for Paul Roos is a span. My brother has already done it and he has asked me if not, so he has been asked to play for young people to play for me, so I will be able to play for him. Yes, the 150 years was very important and it means a lot for the school and also for me. Um, Island keeper who last year has played, um, very good, um, very good, very good, very good, very good, and I want not to play for him to play. And also for the other springboks that have played for me in the Harry Terry, it means a lot for me. Both schools are perennial rugby powerhouses and the 2015 encounter promises to be as tough as ever. Af is definitely one of the top five schools in South Africa last year and this year, but I think that's going to be a, a tough game. But whoever wants it the most at the end will be victorious at the end. It's an unbelievable boys of, uh, group of boys. You know, a lot of senior players, very few grade 11s. Um, they've been coming together since, since, since under 14, um, having a very good run results-wise as an age group throughout the ranks. So we're looking forward to the season. Nee, dat gaan verzeker, verzeker baie moeilijk wees. Um, ons hoop om het uh, skuisbelachtig dag te maak. Ons hoop natuurlijk ons, ons, ons wen die wedstrijd, maar ons sal vir hulle mooi rakbie geef, verzeker. Ons sien uit na die geleentheid en uh, gelukkig of ongelukkig weet ek nie wie gaan wen nie, maar al wat ek weet, dit, dit sal een baie mooi wedstrijd wees. Many years from now, the scores may be forgotten, but the memories of the Paul Rus Gymnasium 150th Rugby Day will never fade. The Wittbiller's mission will be to spoil the party, but with Umpola and Obas Makoto watching over them, the maroon machine will be all but easy to knock over. It's going to be tough. I mean, the boys from Pretoria are quite big in the typical blue bull tradition, so it will be tough up front. Hopefully we can run circles around him in the back. Today, we stand for all that is. For our heritage, our tradition, our future. Today, we become... Watch Paul Roos vs. Uffies this Saturday in Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby, live on Supersport.